is Joe and Kels, and I'm here today with my cousin. We're doing a baking video. What are we baking today, Freddie? Sugar cookies. Yes, we are. This is the first time of me and my cousin baking the sugar cookies. And just a warning, sorry about the noise. Wash machine's on. So, what do we do first when we bake? I don't know. Wash our hands. The oven. Yes, wash your hands, which you've already done. We preheat the oven. So, turn the oven on. Do you know what we preheat it to? No. 180. Yes, we preheat it to 180. And after that, we line for one. I'll probably get another tray because this is small. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, oh god, that didn't want to rip properly, but that's fine. It doesn't matter that it doesn't obviously stay down. When you put the cookies on, it will obviously stay. But you can butter it if you want. Up to you. Do whatever you want. Leave that one over there. Then we'll do this one. Just doing it just in case we need more. That should be fine there. Well, that didn't want to rip properly, now did it? Right, so these are the ingredients you need. We need flour. It says all purpose flour, but I'm not American, I'm British, so I'm using it said plain flour on one thing, so I'm using plain flour. But I don't know if it actually is, I'm just doing it as a guess. How many grams of this do we need? Uh 350. 358. Well done. We also need baking powder, baking soda, or bicarbonate of soda, however you want to say it. An egg. These two, we only need, I think this one is half a tablespoon. Nope, the baking soda is a tablespoon. This is half a tablespoon. This is also half a tablespoon for salt. Teaspoon. <laughs> Teaspoons. Teaspoons. Sorry. Vanilla extract. You need a teaspoon of that. Yes. Butter. Unsalted. Room temperature. Butter, we need 224 grams of that. We need light brown sugar, which mine is just golden sugar. It's basically the same thing. That is 28 grams. And then we need granulated sugar, which I don't have a bag for it because I've tipped it all in this. There it is. We need 233 grams of that. So, let's get started cooking, shall we? All right, so first we're combining our dry ingredients, which are? Flour, uh, baking soda, baking powder and salt. Right, so in a medium sized bowl we add in our flour. That's a lot of flour. Which is 358 grams. Yes, well done. I'll pass it in a little peel. Oh, that's fine, I got it. Got it? Baking soda, which was a teaspoon. As I said earlier. It's a little bit less than that. If I was you, just spread it out a little bit. Let's see if it's yeah, it's good. There we go. Can I do the um? You can do the baking powder and the salt. Baking powder and the salt. Yes. There you go. So Remember that only a half a teaspoon. These half two. A teaspoon. Yep. I can open it. Yeah, that one's very difficult to open. <laughs> Let's give it a nice twist. Careful, the powder doesn't go everywhere. There you go. Now you might be able to pop it off now. No, not yet. <laughs> Proper tight on. Oh, oh. And it's Ow, there we go. Right in the face. Oh. Half a <laughs> teaspoon. Powder. Anyway, yeah, just half a teaspoon for that one. Oh. I reckon that's half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, I reckon that's enough. There we go. Pop the lid back on that one. And now half a teaspoon of salt. So how do you do this? Just put it over this and then just shake it onto the spoon. Oh, there we go. Half a teaspoon. Yep, I think a little bit more. That should be half a teaspoon then. There we go. This basque wash. Now, give it a whisk. Do not give it a whisk? Just be gentle, because obviously it's it will go everywhere. 
That's it. Oh, it went off the edge. Mix it until it's well combined into each other. Then after that, we're going to set this to the side. Yeah, you can see the difference because some of some of it is like really light and some of it's really like darker than it. Yep, definitely. Well, the flour's more darker than the soda powder and the sugar. Salt. Salt, sugar. <laughs> Now, after we have combined our dry ingredients, we are now going to be creaming our butter and our two sugars in this bowl with a hand mixer because it's so much more easier with a hand mixer, it goes so much more faster. So obviously at first you start with a small, after it gets to a good consistency, turn up the heat. Thank you. Turn up the heat. I mean, you turn up the, um, like the power, there we go. So then it goes obviously a bit more quicker, so until all the sugar is dissolved, you turn up the power to like a medium, and then you just give it a mix around until it is all well combined. Now, after you have mixed in the butter and the sugar, you add in the egg. A little bit harder. Harder than that. There you go. Crack the egg in. Make sure there's no shells. That's it, pull. I, I don't want to get the shell in. No, it's fine, just pull it. There we go. Gonna put that in the bin. And then we mix in the egg. Right. Did I get the teaspoon? I did not use the teaspoon. I'll, go, I'll get one. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I did know they were right there. I've got them. Yep. Then after the egg, you add in a vanilla extract. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. It literally looks like honey. It but does, like, isn't a, it? A really, really liquid honey. Mm. That is very true because honey is quite um, right. thick, isn't it? Yeah. This one's like proper liquid. Yes. Yes. Make sure all of that is if you, in. If you don't get like uh, all of it in and it gets like stuck on the spoon, just get that, pour some more in. Yeah, just you can uh, pour a little bit more if you want, use a spoon to obviously make sure it comes off. Even if like the most tiniest bit doesn't obviously get added in that's fine it's not the end of the world so after you have mixed all of that all together add in your dry ingredients only add in half of it for now then we're going to mix and it in and add in the other half and this is yep it? from earlier just add Wait, in half get a spoon no. that's why right, just pour it in just eyeball it that's fine a little bit more that's it keep giving it a sh good shake and that's the end mm -hmm. a little bit more and then i reckon that'll be half there that's we go, it. that's about half. Yep. Give that a nice mix stir. in. It said that you can't over stir it. Because yeah, don't, don't, don't over mix because obviously then it'll either go everywhere or they won't rise. Something like that. As I said, we're doing this with you, so I'm looking at a manual online on how to make this because I've never made them before. So I'm just like all of you. And I'm sorry if this obviously goes wrong. First time making it. Right, do you want to get me the other half of the ingredients and we'll add that in? Yep. Can I mix it? Um, yeah, you, you can mix it, it in. in. Mix it. Yeah, definitely. There we go. Ooh, in it goes. Just mix it around. Just be very gentle. It's really, really like... It, it, sh it should be like really, really white on the next on like the second pour then you just need to keep on nice and slowly just stirring it after it's combined you can use a rubber spatula just to help it form into a ball after you have made your dough into a ball sprinkle your work surface with some flour then uh, just put the ball onto yeah, and then you just put the ball onto the surface. It just helps it, just in case if it's still a bit sticky. It, it stops it from sticking to the uh, surface then, doesn't it? Yeah, then put it on your hands as well. If I, if, I would recommend you, recommend you put it on your hands because it would stick to your hands. As well as put it on your rolling pin. pin. There we go. Sometimes you wouldn't stick to the rolling pin. Yes. Grab. Oh. A ball. The ball. Pop it down. Right in my mouth. Sorry about that. Just make sure. Then make it as flat as you can. Yep. Yeah. Roll it out. You can make it as 
as thin uh, as you can, as fat as you can, yeah. but sometimes they say about an inch thick, yeah. which I'm just going to eyeball because I don't know how much an inch thick really is, to be honest. I think that's like an inch thick. I, th oh. I, I would say that's an inch thick. No, nah, it's a little bit too big for an inch, I believe. Inch is like that big. Oh yeah, look, this big. Mm -hmm. I big. Mm. A little bit too big. An inch. How about this much as an inch? Is it still a little bit too thick? I think, yeah, no, it's good. It's a little bit Just more. on this side, it's really good there. Mm -hmm. One you can get any shapes. We are using a bunny rabbit and a star. But you can use uh, any shapes. Any, any shapes you want. You don't actually have to use shapes, you can just cut it out. It's very true, you can do that as well. So, stick one there. That's it. Put out. Well done. Do a like star. A long way round. <laughs> there we go. Do another one. Rub it. Over. Here. Mm -hmm. When you uh, try to take them out, when you push them in, shake them a little bit. Give a then wiggle. take them out. Yeah, give, give them a little wiggle first, then take them out. It's much easier, then it doesn't get stuck to the rest of the batter dough. I try not to overlap it to, like, other things. Mm, yes. Because it will go downhill. It's very true, it will go downhill. One more. No, it can't fit it there. One over. Maybe another one over here. There and that should be it. So there's some of them. Obviously, we can make more because we've got plenty of dough left. But you we'll just take these for now or we'll transfer them to our baking sheet. I hope you will. Something is, it's really, uh, if you uh, shake them, you could, it's really, really easy just to peel it all off. That is very true. It just all comes away and all together. Then just put, uh, put it in a pile and just leave it. And then it. leave it for a second as you go and transfer these to the tray. And then you can obviously reuse the dough and make as many as you want. So after you have obviously rolled them out, put them on your sheet, and then we pop them in the oven. I'll get the other tray. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, careful with your fingers. And get the other one. one. Put it on the bottom. Like, like we said, you, you can put, you can do as many as you want. Do as many as you want. We've obviously still got some more dough, so we'll obviously roll some more out while they're cooking. And then I, you leave them for about ten to fifteen, maybe twenty minutes, and that kind of stuff till they cook. And then they should be done once they are golden brown. Well, well that, that didn't go as planned. planned. Um, Remember when they went in as rabbits and stars? Well. <laughs> It didn't come out as, as rabbits and stars. They formed into one, basically. So this is this is what we got. Not a massive disaster. It's just next time I'll just put them into balls. Just like um, just like now we're starting to. We're, yeah, we're, we've put, put them into them balls. balls. We've got one in there that's a massive big ball that we just put together just as an experiment. See how big that's going to come out, and tiny little balls around it as well. And obviously I might show that one off afterwards and just to see how it is, but Take let's, 15, 20, hmm. let's give these a taste this, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so let's grab this one. Just oh, careful, it's still a bit warm. You take that half, it's still a little bit warm, Yeah. but it's always good when they're warm. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Quite nice. Ooh, a little bit chewy as well. Not bad. They kind of, they kind of take like cookies. Yeah, they kind of take like cookies, but a little bit more sugary. Yeah. Sugary. That's the whole point. Like sugar cookies. I can now understand why American people like these. They're really delicious. Good, aren't they? Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, that is the end of the video. If you want to see me do this again, and obviously see me um, decorate them, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see this one again in my videos, comment down below. But that is everything. Hope you like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Hit that Bye. thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up.